there was a book that I had called uh, The Legends of My People by Norval Marso and Sal Winduigny. Um, and that book had basically all the legends that um, stirred my imagination as a child. Uh, from there, I had a teacher named Isidore Watto uh, who taught me what the symbols of the woodland art mean and their relationships to, to human beings. Everything. It's, it's, I get my inspiration from, from everything, from nature. Uh, the colors in the world are the colors in my paintings. This is the way I relate to the planet and the way I see relationships in the world. Some of them come very fast, like it's like almost like uh, water flowing. The big one behind uh, is 64 inches by 64 inches, and that is based off of a, one of the birch bark scrolls that was drawn by one of the masters when I was a young boy. 12 hours a day, nine days. This is what Native art, I think, should have been all along. I think that, like, this is what I wanted as a child. Like, I wanted to be able to color like, like, the, like the masters did. And to be able to, you know, give that opportunity to some children out there is just like... And also, it's like the stories of, of the of Algoma and like the stories of the land. It's, it's like, this is my people. This shows like the beauty of it all, the balance of it all. Like, how nature is both beautiful and terrible at the same time. Just the, the current progression that we're on is what I'd love to see. Like places like this, the Tao Ataji Gallery are just phenomenal for, for giving exposure to people who, you know, otherwise wouldn't have it. It's it's a blessing.